In this video, we're going to talk about uh, creating a bill of materials from an assembly of parts. Uh, this particular client uh, was having difficulty creating bill of materials from a standard AutoCAD uh, type drawings. He would have to count them up and put them in a table. Uh, so I wanted to show him how much faster he can create a bill of materials using a different method than his standard uh, 2D drawing method. So here we have an assembly of parts and I have a uh, a library of the parts that I use to build the build this assembly and what I would do is I would build the individual parts I would assign information to that particular part as to what the part number was and the description of the part I then assembled them into a sub assembly called support two arms and if I drag that out to the screen you'll see that this is how I assembled the parts uh, using this sub assembly and a horizontal beam that uh, I used and placed along the top of each of the uh, supports. So now that I've, I want to get rid of those. And each of these parts, uh, if, if I right click on it and I edit the catalog item, they're in a catalog, you'll see that this is just a base plate. But if I go to the part parameters, you'll see that I put a part number, a description, and there's a user part number there and if I want I can come and I can add some additional uh, bill of material information as to the supplier and who the supplier was etc and uh, when you're done edit editing you'll just close out of that save or not and you get back to your so what I've done is I put together an assembly using various pieces that I've created and if I open up a drawing that I've already started you'll see that uh, I've got a couple different views of, uh, of that particular assembly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bill of material to this list and if I go to my annotation tab click bill of material I get a template list of all of available templates uh, you can have different uh, headings for your bill of materials I'm going to accept the default one here which is in all of the programs so you'll have that one available to you if I select OK you'll see immediately that it goes through, does an accumulation of the uh, quantities, part numbers, descriptions of each, and item numbers. And then you can move that anywhere on the screen that, that you'd like. Um, the other feature that I like about the Bill of Materials is this item bubble. So if you clicked on the item bubble, and as you tag a particular item in your screen, it shows you a, an item bubble corresponding to the item number in your Bill of material. and you can do this from any view if you were down here you could do it and, and they all correspond to the individual bill of materials so that's pretty much how easy it is to uh, to do a bill of material you the first thing you do is to build your part create your in individual parts dra uh, drag them in into a catalog um, and then use the parts to build a sub-assembly and then that sub-assembly to build a larger assembly and then you take it to your drawing and create your drawing uh, of the different views add your bill of material and that's pretty much it if we go back to the drawing let me delete a few things and you'll see if I just take out some items here and then go back to our drawing you'll see that the drawing uh, wants to be updated and if we update that you'll see that the parts have changed it tells us what's changed and then you'll you'll notice in our bill of material that the count has changed um, so that's associativity back and forth between the the assembly of the the model assembly and of the uh, of the drawing thank you